This is probably one of the most challenging games I've ever played to evaluate. On one hand, the dialogues and characters are written in a highly pretentious manner with the authors clearly wanting players to perceive the dialogues is incredibly intelligent, dripping with philosophy and deep meaning in every detail. Frankly, I wasn't particularly impressed with the plot. On the other hand, despite all this pretentiousness, it was quite engaging enough for me to see the game through to the end. And it's evident that the developers put in effort, albeit with some cut corners like the protagonist wearing a transparent mask and having no facial animations, unlike the rest of the characters. The game itself is an adventure where you walk through levels, interact with everything you can and talk to everyone you can. All the dialogues are voiced and I even say that voice acting is decent, they clearly tried. Graphically, the game stands out purely for its style, it's a budget project that won't have received praise for its technical aspects even 10 or 15 years ago. Essentially, this is a game 100% focused on its story and characters, everything else is secondary, but I must admit there were no bugs or glitches, which is commendable. Now, what about the plot and characters? In short, all of humanity has been wiped out by aliens, except for a Chinese-Canadian schoolgirl, which is immune to the disease spread by the aliens and doesn't age, theoretically never dying of old age. Over time, she creates a totalitarian regime with herself at the helm, and her subjects are her clones who also don't age, as I understand it, but they aren't immune to the disease, so they wear masks and save on facial animations which no one has even without masks. Throughout the game we uncover new details about her past by traveling through fragments of her memories which are distorted and include things she couldn't possibly know, but that's a narrative convenience. Overall, it's like a teenage movie but in a game form. Something that might greatly impress a teenager, but for an old-timer like me, I've seen all this done better, with, with less effort. Another aspect is that the game uh, the target audience, like the protagonist in the game, is uh, teenage girls. This story of mothers and daughters will resonate most with them, especially if they are Chinese descent living in Canada. This may sound very specific, but the game's page mentions that the studio comprises such people and a large part of the story focuses on the mother's parents who participated in the Hong Kong protests during the Umbrella Revolution. The game heavily draws parallels between the Clone Revolution and the Chinese Revolution. Out of the context of who the developers are, this seems very strange, but with uh, that context it still seems strange but understandable why it's in the game. In conclusion, a thumbs up because the author tried and it was interesting to see where the plot would go. If you are a teenage girl of Asian descent who thinks your mom is too strict, then this is a perfect game for you. If you are an old timer who gets impressed only by the fact that your back hasn't hurt for a week, the game will likely seem too naive and silly. As I said before, there are teenage movies and this is a teenage game. That's all for today. If you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you know to know about my new video. See you soon.